What's up guys? Charlie NASCAR here. Gonna go ahead and get something off my chest that's been on my chest for years. And that's about that bitch Teresa Earnhardt and how she just ruined a good company and has done everything she can to be the most greediest bitch on God's green earth. She is a quintessential evil stepmother to both Kelly, Dale, and Carrie. And I'm gonna get into how she really screwed over but Dale and, and Carrie. And, you know, Kelly obviously suffered from that, too. Number one, when it came time for Dale Jr. to renew his contract with DEI, he asked for half the business. You know, his father made that business not for Teresa. Trust me, I'm pretty sure if Dale you know, Earnhardt Sr. was alive today, he would have had in his will that that business goes solely to Dale Jr. or, or to Kelly. Probably would have to be split up between Kelly and Dale. Because those two, I mean, those two are a tandem. I mean, look the way J Junior Motorsports is being run. Kelly handles most of that business, believe it or not. Dale works on the driver's side. Kelly works the business side. Those two, those two, man, they they run the, probably the best Xfinity Series team ever, to be honest with you. I mean, they're good. Well, we all remember the negotiations that, you know, Dale ended up going to Hendrick, which I don't blame him. You know, the reason why Dale, aside that, the reason why I think Dale went to Hendrick, really, is Dale needed a father and Rick Hendrick needed a son. That's why I think they went there. But anyway, <laughs> get back to how Teresa did that. That was mistake number one. And that was probably the biggest mistake. That was the callus, I think, that did the whole company in. Because after D Dale left, you know, Truex did all right for them. Truex was actually someone that Dale Earnhardt Jr. picked up. And got him into the team, you know, good in their best friends. Also, they, they had a couple other drivers. Eventually, after Dale left, they started going downhill, performance-wise, financial-wise. I mean, they were going down performance-wise before Dale, Dale left. I think he went three seasons, the last three seasons of DEI without a win. I'm pretty sure it's either three or four, somewhere around there. There was that problem. After that. You know, the performance kept going downhill. Quality kept going downhill. Then she decides to merge with Chip Ganassi Racing. Now, hey, look, Chip Ganassi is a good man, good team owner, all that. No fault on him. Teresa should never have went ahead and went to a merger. Instead of going to a merger, she should have done the right thing and worked things out with Dale Jr. and got him to go ahead and partner back up and take over the business. Would have probably made her more money in the long run. She could have sat back and cashed a check as a minority owner. And the Dale Earnhardt Sr. name would still be alive. But this is the second thing that's really pissed me off about her. Besides running the family's business into the ground. Is what she did to Carrie Earnhardt. Now granted, I don't know how the rest of the court case is gone. I think they're still waiting to have the actual trial. But Carrie Earnhardt, you know, he didn't do that good in racing. He tried. You know, I don't believe in that whole, well, his father was a race car driver. That means he's going to be a good one. We've all seen that. And test of time, it really is not true. You're either a good race car driver or you're not. I don't think it matters who your family was, you know, what your parents did. You either got it or you don't. And there's no disrespect to Carrie. Hey, you tried. Jeffrey's trying now. You know, Dale did all right. You know, it's, it has nothing to do with genetics. But what she's doing to Carrie is wrong. Carrie decided to start his own business, call his own um, home business, where he's a home builder. He actually has contracts work for him, but he's the owner of it. And it's called Earnhardt Custom Designs or Earnhardt Homes. And he had to stop his business temporarily because Teresa Earnhardt is suing her, saying he can't use an Earnhardt name. Well, technically, that's his name. He's a blood Earnhardt. She's not. She got married into it by sucking dick. I assume. Or looking buttholes or whatever nasty shit she's into. God only knows because, you know, I'm granted she did not probably get down on her senior, senior to marry her without, with her personality. That bitch is wrong. So she's fucked over two fucking Earnhardts. Three, I, I'm pretty sure Kelly got screwed and I'm pretty sure she was the evil stepmom to her too. But, you know, what she did was just wrong. She's a bitch. She fucked up. 
Those are just two main things. And I mean, guys, I've been trying to do this video for the last three hours, believe it or not. And this is so far the longest now at five minutes. I've been able to keep calm without breaking down and just going ape shit nuts. So, I'm in my calmest voice. I'm going to say, fuck you, Tree Sarnhart. Fuck you right here. You are worse than Toyota and Steve O'Donnell. And those people who are fans of the channel know how bad that is. You are the you are worse than Brian France. You are a horrible human being. So I'm not gonna say fuck Toyota in this video. I'm just gonna say fuck Teresa Earnhardt. You are an apology to Dale Earnhardt's seniors' kids and family and grandkids because you ruined a good thing for him. Kind of kept the Earnhardt name going and racing with DEI. So, well, hopefully Junior will go ahead, when he retires, move up to the um, Monster Energy Cup Series and have his own team, because I think he'll be one hell of a team owner. So, anyway, guys, fuck Teresa Earnhardt. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I know there's other things. If you want to rant and bitch about Teresa Earnhardt, go right ahead. And I'll take it easy and fuck Teresa Earnhardt again. Fuck her right in her nasty-ass pussy. Probably like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. Later.